Colors play a vital role in our photos, and color shifts can instantly change the mood of a scene. Lookup tables allow you to shift the colors of your photos at the click of a button, and with version 10, lookup tables have finally come to a shampoo Photo Optimizer. Let's take a closer look. Importing photos into Photo Optimizer is as easy as dragging them into the editor. Alternatively, I can also use the buttons to add individual files or folders. Before I show you how to use lookup tables, I want to quickly demonstrate batch optimization with Photo Optimizer. I can select imported photos individually or hit Ctrl plus A to select all of them. To deselect, I can click the check marks to deselect individual photos or click a thumbnail to deselect all but the clicked photo. Once I hit Auto Optimize and confirm my selection, the program will process the selected photos. Let's see the optimization in action for a single photo. First, I deselect the photos using the dedicated button at the bottom right. Now, let's pick a good example photo. Resize the editing view to make some space and then use Auto Optimize. Once complete, I can use the split view and move the slider for a nice before-after comparison. Naturally, I can also undo the changes instantly. Results may vary slightly depending on the quality of the original photo, but as you can see, my photo now has much better contrast and color settings. Here's another photo with way too dark colors. Photo Optimizer detects the flaw and fixes it. Now it's time to check out lookup tables in Photo Optimizer. I'll use a different photo this time as not every color combination yields a favorable result. In Photo Optimizer, lookup tables are accessible via the Filters slash LOTs category. Let's try out a few of the default filters. As you can see, lookup tables are not one size fits all, but there is definitely a few noteworthy ones that yield great results. Clicking Apply will modify the colors of the selected photo. I can also apply LOTs to a series of photos of similar scenes by selecting them at the bottom. Photo Optimizer 10 comes with a number of default filters, but you can easily add additional filters you can find for free or purchase online. To add filters, expand the Own Filters section and click Open Filter Folder. This will open the program's custom filter directory in Windows Explorer. Then, copy the new files, these usually end with .cube, into the directory and restart the program. The filters will then appear under Own Filters and work just like the default ones. Aside from lookup tables support, Photo Optimizer also includes various artistic effects accessible via the eponymous category to add an individual touch to your photos. I particularly like the image aging effect. As with lookup tables, Clicking Apply will let the program work its magic. Finally, I can make tools I use frequently more easily accessible by marking them as Favorites. The tools will then collectively appear under Favorites. That's it for today's video. 
make sure to explore the lookup table feature to get a feel for this latest addition to A Shampoo Photo Optimizer 10. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified when we release new content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.